So here's everything you need to make a teratome at home. It's pretty easy, even an older kid could probably do it, um, but otherwise might need a little bit of help. You do need cornstarch and water and a little bit of yellow food coloring. Usually the goop inside of these is a yellowish color. And some things that can help, a plastic bottle, a funnel, a spoon for stirring, and then of course the actual components of the cyst itself. A regular balloon, usually the cysts are a pink or reddish color, but you can use any color that you really want. Um, and things to put inside of it. And truthfully, you could put anything in these, but we uh, opted to get some squishy eyeballs. We got those from the craft store around Halloween time. I got some fake teeth and I opted to use a piece of my dog's rope toy, which I cut up actually, see? Um, and I braided it together just to keep the hairs a little bit more neat and tidy, but you could leave them loose, which is of course how they are usually formed when they're in the body. So first you make your goop, if you will. Some people call it oobleck, but it's cornstarch with water, usually in a two to one ratio, two parts of cornstarch to one part of water. And you just mix that together. And it's kind of a weird thing to mix because it's a little bit tough, but you just keep going and it'll come together. And you can make the consistency any way you like it. Um, you just add more water if you want it to be more liquidy and goopy and it has more of a squirt when you cut it open, or you add a little bit less water and it will be more of a sort of a sticky uh, texture instead. So that's pretty good. And I usually just add just two drops or so of food coloring to make it that yellow color. And you can also just mix that in. So of course, Ublek is a non-Newtonian uh, substance where it has properties of both a liquid and a solid. It's a pretty cool thing to play with your kids if you've never done it before. So you can see that it's turning more of a uniform yellow color. That's probably pretty good. And then you take your bottle and using your funnel, and you just pour your oobleck or your goop into the bottle here. And it'll just take a few minutes to work its way down because it's thick. Now while that's going, usually what I do is work on the rest of it. So a couple of pointers for the balloon. It helps if you blow it up ahead of time, it helps to sort of stretch it out. And the first step is you just wanna stuff it with any of the treasures that you're trying to put in it. So I just found if you open it up past the neck to the actual round part of the balloon, it helps to stuff things in just a little bit easier. Kinda of takes a lot of force. So there's my eyeball, here go my teeth. bundle of hair here. Just sort of stuff it in. It's like the opposite of birth. There you go. So everything that I want is inside of the balloon. So I'll leave that there. It looks like the oobleck is almost all the way into the bottle. Now this next step is uh, helpful um, to make a cyst that's larger than just the size of the balloon itself. At some point the pressure gradient is such that it starts to push the oobleck out um, and it makes a huge mess on your counter. Believe me, I did it, so I'll tell you that for sure. But the way that you can make it a little bit bigger than that is to blow the balloon up. So here I go. And you just have to blow it up about this big. And then you twist it to keep the air inside. So I'm gonna take this out. And then you just want to open. Then you just wanna open the balloon over your bottle. You wanna hold on tight. Another thing I did was let go of this and that also exploded all over the counter. That was fun. 
And then you can untwist your balloon. And then you invert your bottle and you just wait. And the oobleck makes its way into the balloon. It's kind of like feeding a baby. You feed the baby and the baby gets heavier and you just keep going. So you can see it making its way into the balloon. Okay, so all the oobleck is inside of the balloon. So you twist to ensure that you don't let out any of that air too early. And then you just wanna take the balloon off of the bottle. Do you wanna release all of the air out of the balloon? You want to do so slowly so you don't let any of the oobleck out of the balloon because it'll start to push out too once all the air is out. Okay, so you can feel the oobleck coming up into the neck. So just push that down and then you tie it. It's not wrong to have air in the balloon, but when you go to cut it open, it will pop like any balloon <laughs> full of air it will. And that will explode all over your kitchen. We did that one too. So there you have it. There's your teratoma. It's squishy, almost like a stress ball is, but it's full of those treasures on the inside. And you can use either a knife to open it. Um, so of course, a grown up will need to help with that. Yes, babe. Um, or you could use scissors to cut it open as well. So the scissors works pretty well because then you can make a pretty long cut and then it all explodes all at once. And there you have it. There's your teratoma.